Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video we will set up the functionality to save and delete articles in our database. So if you remember in our article DAO object we have that function to insert an article into our database and we have that function to get all articles out of the database so we can show that in our saved news fragments and we also have that function to delete an article of course. So first of all to start with this we want to go into our news repository and add all of these functions in here. First of all, that is a suspend function upsert, and we want to pass the article that we want to insert into our database, and that just takes our DB reference here, gets the article DAO, and calls upsert with the past article. Then we have a normal function, so not a suspend function, because that returns a live data to get our saved news. And that is equal to our db.getArticleDAO.getAllArticles. And finally, a suspend function to delete an article. Delete article. We pass the article that we want to delete as a parameter. And we set it to db.getArticleDAO.deleteArticle and pass the article. So that is very easy to do here. Next, we want to go to the next layer. So our news view model and add these functions here so our fragments can actually call these. First of all we have that function to save an article which takes that article that should be saved of course and since that is a suspend function we also need to start a coroutine for that. Also nothing new we need to use viewmodelscope.launch for that and in here we want to call our news repository and upsert and then simply pass the article. Then we have that function to get the saved news and that will just take our news repository and get the saved news. Because that get saved news function in the news repository is not a suspend function, we don't need to start a coroutine for that. Instead, we will just observe on this function from our fragments, so we are directly notified about changes in our database. And finally, the function to delete an article that also takes an article as a parameter and for that we have to start a coroutine again, so view model scope that launch and call news repository dot delete article and pass our article here. So for now that was very simple. We just took our functions from the article DAO and implemented them in our news repository and news view model. But now we have to actually think about when do we want to call these separate functions. So when do we want to save an article? Well, we have our recycler view with the news in it. And whenever we click on a single item, then that item opens up in a web view. And that article fragment with the web view also has a floating action button that adds this article to our database. So that is rather easy to do because we just need to add an on click listener. And our get saved news function is also very easy because we only use this to observe on changes in our database. But for our delete article function, we also need to implement that swipe to delete functionality. So that is nothing that can, can be done by default, but it's also not too difficult. So let's start to implement the functionality to save an article. Let's jump into our article fragment for that. And here below that web view applier block, we just want to call our floating action button, our fab, and set an on-click listener to that, where we just call our view model dot save article, and we save our current article. So that is the article that was passed to this fragment as an argument. So we get that from our arguments dot article. And then we could also make a snack bar here to notify the user that the article was saved. So pass the view as a first parameter and just write article saved successfully. And use snack bar dot length short and call it show afterwards. The next step is to actually observe on our changes in the database in our saved news fragment. That is also very easy to do. Just go below that news adapter on item click listener block. And here we call our view model dot get saved news and call dot observe on that. Here we need to pass our view lifecycle owner because we're inside of a fragment and pass an observer. So whenever our data in the database changes, then this observer gets called and passes us the new list of articles that we can actually name articles here. And 
what do we want to do with that list? We just want to update our recycler view. So we call our news adapter dot differ dot submit list and pass our articles list. And then our list differ will automatically calculate the differences of the new list and the old list and update our recycler view accordingly. And to actually be able to swipe and delete articles, we need to add what is called an item touch helper to our recycler view adapter. And that is also not too difficult. Let's do that above here and create a callback for that first. So val item touch helper callback. We have to create an anonymous class for that. So object colon item touch helper dot simple callback. And in the constructor of that, we first need to specify the directions in which we want to drag our recycler view itself and then the directions we want to be able to swipe the items. So for the drag dears, so for the directions we want to be able to drag our recycler view is of course up and down because that's how we scroll it. So we pass item touch helper dot up or item touch helper dot down. And as a second parameter, we pass the directions we want to be able to swipe our items. So that will be item touch helper dot left or item touch helper dot right. And then we can open curly brackets here and press control I to implement our two functions that we need for that. Press enter here. So first of all, we have the on move function, which we will just leave empty. We just want to return true here. We don't need that function because that is called when we move an item, but we don't even have any functionality. We want to adapt to that. When we move that item, we just want to detect when the user actually swiped that item away. So the on swipe function is actually the function that we want to implement here. First of all, we want to get the position of the item that we actually deleted here so that we actually swiped to the left or to the right. So let's write well position and set that to view holder. So that parameter is the view holder of the swiped item and call dot adapter position. And then we can get the article, the corresponding article that we want to delete in our database. And we can get that from our news adapter dot differ dot current list at the index of that position. And because now we know that article that we want to delete, then we can simply call our view model dot delete article and pass that article. But since we also want to have that undo functionality with a snack bar, we also need to add that. Let's create a snack bar, val snack bar. Let's, we don't even need a val for that. Let's just call snack bar dot make, pass our view here and write successfully deleted article make that snack bar uh, length long. So we actually have a little bit of time to decide if we want to undo that and call apply afterwards. And then we can add an action to that snack bar that is executed when we click on that undo button. So we can call dot set action. The text of that action is undo. And then we can open a new block of code there. And in case we click on that undo button, we just want to call our view model and save that article again that we just deleted. And then simply out of that set action block, we just want to call show. So we show our snack bar. And since that is only a callback now and not a real item touch helper, we have to create that below here. So we just create an item touch helper and pass our item touch helper callback here, call that apply on that and attach it to a recycler view. And that will be our RV saved news. And then we can actually try it out and see if everything is working. So let's jump into our emulator. You can see our news are loading. Currently our saved news fragments is empty. But if we click on an article here and hit on that floating action button, then you can see article saved successfully. Let's also add another article here. Click on that floating action button, save that and also save a third one. And if we now go into saved news fragment, then you can see here are our three articles that we saved to our database and we are able to swipe those now, swipe to the left. You can see successfully deleted article. If I click on undo, let's do that again. 
click on undo, then it will insert that article at the right position and it will immediately show up in our recycler view because the function in our article DAO returns a live data that automatically notifies our, um, our observers, so our article fragment, I'm sorry, our safe news fragment, if there is a change in our database. So whenever we add or delete an article in our database, then this function will automatically notify all fragments about that change. So I hope everything got clear to you. If so, please leave a like and comment below. And also if there's anything you didn't understand, please let me know in the comments. I can answer your questions. And if there's anything I can improve on, then please let me know that too. Leave me some feedback. That is really helpful for me to improve on my content. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.